set. All right, here we go. Both players, Tasa versus T-Sis, dude literally put his tag as Lucario. So this guy's clearly committed to the character. We'll see if he's committed enough to take out T-Sis' uh, link. As we see in this next match. Yeah, you don't really see a lot of Lucario. This is one of the, this is, this is probably the one character in this game that a lot of people just forget is in the game. Just, you, just on the fact that you never ever see any Lucario. He's really uh, representing Lucario these days. Anti won that one Guatemala tournament a, a, a long while ago with uh, Lucario. But since then, it hasn't really been a lot. But still, so far, even contest between both players. Nice movement from, uh, from uh, I almost called him Lucario because it's me. It's Lucario. Uh, nice movement from Toxic, as we see here. Oh, misses the punish on that forward smash. He uh, accidentally got a dash input. Just quite get that combo off and throw that percent. Oh, wow. That that was, he just barely caught him with that aura spear because T-Swizz, uh, or T-Sizz, went a little bit too high. I can understand wanting to go a little bit higher so that way you don't get put on a lead trap situation against uh, Lucario's Aura Sphere, but um, didn't quite work out there. It might have been a little bit unintentional for T-Sizz. Okay, he's going to get a damn... Some, a little, doesn't really get a lot of a punish off of that. If you want to get a punish, the time is now when you have this much Aura stacked up. He's going to want to hold on to this out as long as possible. Still gets a, a weak hit of that uh, spin attack. Nice Aura Sphere connecting. So, wow, an actual kill. At 170, it's going to do the job. It's still even between both players. Go for a little bit of a bomb throw extension. Not able to get it against Ceases, though. Oh, wow. Good stuff with the boomerang into a grab. Yeah, I've, I've actually seen Ceases uh, playing uh, Link before on the stream. and uh, he's, He knows his stuff. He knows a little bit of his stuff. Yeah, landing with these nares. Toxic kind of showing a little bit of uh, difficulty dealing with it. He jumps over at that time and lands with a punish. Oh, wow, that's a raw forward smash. That was uh, a little bit ill-advised. Pretty risky compared to the reward that you're probably going to get. But, uh, still doing just fine. Again, even, even contest between both players. Oh, and another, that was a force palm in the opposite direction. Misses the punish. A lot of spaghetti. Wow, that barely missed the uptake. Crowd just a tad too short. That's what the boomerang. He goes directly into the stage with that extreme speed. I didn't think he set off the uh, bomb there with that aura, but actually, no, that's not the case. Oh, got him. Wow, that's so strong. That's 71%. I, think, I don't know if that was uh, optimal DI as well. I think if, I don't know if you DI, DI up and in will kill you earlier with uh, Force Palm Command Grab, but um, yeah, with DI or not, he's uh, out of there completely. And now here we go. Up throw. We saw it last stock, and we see it again this stock. T is going to be able to find another up throw KO. Nice oop. Yeah, toxic. He's not continuing the combo completely, but he's still following up afterward. Unfortunately, with 0%, Lucario does roughly the equivalent of stubbing your toe every time he gets a total of four hits on you. So not going to get a lot off those punishes, and we still have an even game despite the good plays from Toxic. And now we're getting to the point where he's going to get a little bit stronger because he's uh, rocking 79%. And taking more punishment as we see him miss that extreme speed. He's going for a lot of the extreme speeds at high from high positions, and it's not working out. Again, getting punished. Might want to change up that habit. Oh wow, that spin attack was just completely out of nowhere. That's going to take Toxic Stock and take the game for T6. Yeah, we got a full house tonight. We got a total of uh, 100. Like 100 plus entrance, like usual. I think it's 120. I'm not entirely sure. But a lot of fellas are in the room in the room tonight on the first Xanadu stream of the new year. And it's an exciting time. Man. It's been a year since this game came out. It's been a whole year since this game came out. Oh, no. yeah, what's up, Nick? What up, friends? 
So here My we go. name's Nick. Sometimes I make plays. Nick makes plays. Sometimes. Well, I got this. <coughs> so where, where so is the, wait, where's the... Oh, is that oh yeah, yeah. We got to look up there. Oh, okay. look up there. I was like, what are we doing? All right. Okay. So we have... Uh, we have... T yeah, Toxic versus Tises. We've seen um, Toxic make some, some good, his movement is solid, and he's good at uh, keep, like pushing advance when he gets it, but he, he, that, that right there we saw it, the extreme speed habit that he has of going super high with it. Again, there's, it's, it's just, I noticed that he's getting punished for that a lot, and despite losing the game off of it last time, he is content with continuing to do it in this game too. I like Toxic's uh, beer versus at first. I wasn't too sure like if they were just like to move, like just to, just to do it, you know what I mean? Because they go and play the Cario. But I actually, the, the fact that it's chipping him, like it actually caught him is good. It's just that whenever, it, or the times it's caught him with the reverse, the beer reverse, the worst way it hit him, he didn't convert off of it. So it yeah. makes you wonder, is it worth risking like getting hit to do one damage? Right. Because I feel like there's definitely a reason why he's trying to beer reverse into him, but he should probably be able to convert off of it if that's the case. Yeah, you talked about him doing these. Oh wow, he's good to follow up off that uh, boomerang. Yeah, you talked about doing stuff just to do it. He's going, we're going for a lot of these extreme speeds again. I gotta emphasize because it is getting a ton of punishes um, that he's just constantly having to eat. For free. Ooh, the forward smash. Not any aura to deal with, so he's not gonna. As take generic too much as it sounds, uh, so far this match, I feel like both of them could favor for uh, trying to whiff punish more. Like a lot of times, it's them whiffing attack, and the other person either like air dodges or spot dodges, and if they just wait for that, they can get punishes. It's happened on both ends. We saw earlier, tried down smash, and he mistimed it, and then T says spot dodge, and then he killed him instead. Yeah. But if you wait for the spot dodge, and you see T says rolls a lot, and he's air dodging a lot, if they could just wait for the, the dodge after that they both are doing, they could easily secure a stop. Yeah, I'm noticing that. Uh, oh, wow, that was the uh, tipper forward smash. That's, that's tragic be because he like recognized it was an F smash and was like, okay, I'll punish this. But then he, he, then he was just, he was just a, his spacing was a little bit too off. Yeah. It's a little thing, yeah, and here's the extreme speed you were yeah. before mentioning. And I think the problem that Toxic is having is that his beer, beer verses are pretty good. <laughs> oh, wow, that was... That was so that sick. Was I honestly, I'm led to believe that's Lilat. why he picked Lilat. Though. Yeah, exactly. That exact reason. That must be Lilat. On top of that, a cool thing is that um, with the slant from doing throwing an aura sphere from the from the middle of the stage, mm -hmm. you'll um, catch people at the corner very well. Oh wow, he's got the aura. Why is, why is it better on the stage? Does it cover jump also? Because it's yeah, it covers jumps more effectively than on other stages. Gets a good amount of damage about, on that about to use that with my character. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, that was oh sick, my though. god. That oh, was like perfect. Yeah. Uh, it's just Again, I gotta emphasize the extreme speeds are the main reason why t t Toxic is taking so much damage. I think if he improved his normal movement better without the uh, like his, his beer verses are okay, but without the beer verses, his movement is kind of mediocre, and we're yeah. seeing it take so much off of these extreme speeds trying I to get out of disadvantage. He's going for a lot of these smash attacks, and it's like. Yeah, you're Lucario. That's what you do sometimes. He's straight smash checks. But he's doing them in ways where his spacing is really dangerous. Or he's mistiming, like, reading an air dodge. Like, they're not the bad, they're not that terrible of ideas, but you have to be able to execute, like, the right time. You can't just throw it out and hope they, they hit it. That'd be, like, a reason why you threw it. Yeah, there's got to be a plan behind it. Like, everything. that was fine, because he was, like, far away in shield. Yeah, that forward air, though, catching him off of the... Uh yeah, it just caught him out of the air, and that's going to be the end of the set. Tisa's taking it with a convincing Honestly, for a guy in Toxic, he played pretty honest. 